Hey everyone, it's Erin from Label Studio and I'm here to walk through our latest generative AI templates and how to get started with them and what they look like within the Label Studio interface. First off, let's explore. For the sake of this tutorial, you won't need much to get started, but I do recommend kind of a basic understanding of what labeling is and a little bit about LLMs and how they work. This will help provide some helpful context behind what you're doing. Don't worry, we've got all of this information available, for, available to you on the Label Studio uh, website. Just visit labelstud.io slash blog, and you'll learn more. Further questions? Find us on Slack. Without further ado, let's begin. First off, what I'm going to be doing is I'll show you a little bit of what I've got going on behind the scenes. So this is kind of the setup and the items that I have going. I've got a browser window, I've got Docker up, I've got a terminal window, and I've got a Visual Studio code. Before we begin, if you have any questions at all, I'm just pulling this directly from the supervised LLM fine-tuning documentation on our site. Have questions? Feel, to, feel free to reach out and let me know in Slack. Now, before we kind of dive into anything, we need to make sure that we have Label Studio up first and foremost. So let's start by getting Label Studio up. We'll be using this through our terminal, and I, I'm going to be deploying it through Docker, so just Docker run. Um, I've got it saved in there. What it's going to do is it's going to run that open. If we now switch to back to that full screen view, you'll see that I've got a new Docker container up right here. And go ahead and click on that. It'll open it up. And I'm using Arc Browser, so it creates a separate window. You can also see the other times that I've tried getting this going and just recorded this demo. Recording is weird, y'all. And from here, what I'll be doing is going back to minimizing our full screen and taking you to our browser window. Zooming in here, you'll be able to see I can create a new project and we'll be doing supervised LLM fine tuning. Let's try this number three. It's the third one. And we can click through and see data import. If I have a JSON file already and I want to just import it through here, what I can do is just strictly upload it easy peasy. But for the sake of today's tutorial, and most commonly when you're dealing with data sets and fine tuning, you'll be importing it through the API. So I'll show you how to do that as well. And then diving into our labeling setup. For the sake of today, we'll be going to our generative AI templates and then the supervised language model fine tuning. What this template does is it has a kind of a preview of like, what is the question? And then you type your answer in to generate a new data set. This will make it so that you have a suggested if output um, that you can train an existing model off of. So generative AI models, especially large language models, often work in pairs response. So you have a prompt and then a response. So this is our prompt up here and then our response is down here in this text box. So that's what we'll be adding. We'll then click save. Now you'll notice we don't have any data. Let's walk through what data structure this should look like and how to import it into Label Studio via the API. And again, if you've already got a data set that's prepped and ready to go, feel free to click import and then upload it directly here. So again, I'm going to minimize this window and what I'm going to be doing is pulling up VS Code. So you'll see an existing just practice data set here. I've got a prompt and then a response. I'm not too worried about the response for this current moment, but what I'm really curious about is this prompt. So how many tails does an opossum have? What is a marsupial and what type of animal is a dog? Now, it's time to get that into Label Studio. I've got this notebook right here um, that has everything kind of loaded up. And yes, I'm running it just out of Visual Studio Code. First, I'm going to install the Label Studio SDK now that we've got that installed. And then what I want to do is make sure that I'm telling it, hey, go put this in my project. So I've got the Label Studio SDK with the URL here. I've got my API key, and don't worry, I'll be resetting it after this video. And then I'll be telling it the project. Now this is one area where I got a little confused when I was getting started. The way to get the project ID is to navigate to Label Studio. So again, going to minimize the screen, load up Label Studio, and looking at our file path at the top where it says localhost 8080 projects, and you'll look for that number right afterwards, which says three in this case. I wanna take that three and open it up and put it in this line right here. So you'll see ID is three. And then copy in the file path where that JSON file is held and click run. Then we should get a note, like 
if you didn't get an error, common errors that happen are usually when your JSON file isn't formatted correctly and a nice green check mark. We're going to take that and go back to Label Studio. And if we magically refresh, we'll see that our data is there. And I just used Command Shift R on a Mac to refresh and make sure that everything's good to go. Now I'll minimize my face right here for a second, but you should still be able to hear me. I'm going to start this labeling process. So I'm gonna click label all tasks. It'll be giving you the prompt. So what type of animal is a dog? And I can type in a dog is a mammal with a tail. Click add. Once my prompt is added, I'll click submit. Again, what you're doing is you're just adding further context that they can train the model or build a data set to train a model off of. How many tails does an opossum have? Um, an opossum has one tail. Go ahead and add that in, click submit. What is a marsupial? A marsupial is a mammal. It's young. All right, last one, just click add in there, submit. Now all my tasks have been done. What I'm gonna do is go back to the project. If I wanted to export this data set now that it's been prepared, I can go ahead and click export and choose the format I'd wanna export. This allows you to have that nice data set that's prepped and ready to go for your fine tuning needs. Now, if you don't have any other questions, what we'll go from here is I'll just wrap up and show you where to find the rest of our generative AI tutorials and documentation, or just follow along as I kind of complete the series with our generative AI docs. So within the Label Studio documentation on the templates page, you'll find the supervised LLM fine tuning tutorial, as well as other assets for you to get started with this generative AI and fine tuning it for whatever your needs are. Now, whatever questions you may have, I'm available to all of y'all on Slack. If you have any further questions or comments or concerns, feel free to reach out and just let me know. Thanks.